So the first thing we want to do is actually make sure that the new MetaHuman in engine plugin is actually installed to your Unreal Engine 6 project. So what we want to first do is actually go to the Epic Games launcher and just have a look at the options tab and make sure the MetaHuman Creator Core data is installed. The next thing we want to do is go back to your Unreal Engine project, hit edit, go to plugins. We're going to go ahead and type MetaHuman and make sure that MetaHuman Core Tech, MetaHuman Creator, and MetaHuman Runtime are all checked. Once these things are checked, you're probably going to have to restart the project in order for those installs to install correctly. So go ahead and restart your project. Next thing we're going to do to make sure it's installed correctly is go to your content drawer, right click, and then make sure that you see this MetaHuman tab with these various options. So our next step is we're going to create a MetaHuman character. So go to the tab and click MetaHuman character. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'll call it Tutorial MetaHuman 1. Then you double click to open the MetaHuman editor. So this is the MetaHuman editor. Today we'll be using some of the presets to show you how to get up and running very quickly. To start, I'll go ahead and select Isaiah. So now we have Isaiah selected. The next thing we want to do is go to hair and clothes and we want to scroll down to the clothing that he's wearing. Click the item in the menu and then click remove. So removing the default clothing from MetaHumans is an important step if you're going to send them to MetaTailor because Unreal Engine will actually remove the underlying body mesh from the model if there is clothing applied. MetaTailor needs this body uh, because it derives some of the fitment data from the body itself. So you want to remove the clothes and then we will add clothes in the next step once we get to MetaTailor. So next, let's take a look at this assembly button. What the MetaHuman editor does is it allows you to create a character and then actually import it to your project as a blueprint. But there are two more steps we have to complete in order to do that. It says right here the character is not rigged. So what you want to do is just click this button that says create full rig. Then you let the process complete. So once that's completed, the next thing you want to do is click download texture source. For this tutorial, I think the 2K resolution is just fine. Once that is finished in the assembly tab, you should see a green button that says assemble. So go ahead and click it. Once the process is finished, go ahead and save your MetaHuman. And then you can close out of the editor. Open your content drawer. So once that's completed, you'll see your MetaHuman here in the browser. But what we actually want to do is open the MetaHuman's blueprint. So to do that, go to the MetaHuman's folder and find your MetaHuman that you created. Then navigate to his blueprint icon and open the blueprint. So once you open your MetaHuman's blueprint, what you want to do is make sure that the MetaTailor bridge plugin is actually properly installed. If it's installed correctly, you will see these MetaTailor buttons up here at the top. If you don't see these buttons, that's okay. I'll show you how to install the plugin very quickly. To install the Unreal Engine 6 plugin, open MetaTailor 2.5 and navigate to the Bridge tab in the Home menu. Make sure you enable the Bridge for Unreal and then hit Add a Project. And then hit Locate Project. Now that I've found my project, all I have to do is double click on the Unreal Engine project itself and then MetaTailor will automatically install the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, you will actually see a plugins folder and the MetaTailor bridge plugin installed in the folder. To confirm that we successfully installed the MetaTailor plugin into Unreal Engine 6, go to Edit, Plugins, Other, and make sure the MetaTailor bridge plugin is installed. If it's here, that means it's good. So, we're going to hit the Send to MetaTailor button, but before we do that, we want to make sure that MetaTailor is open in the background so that MetaTailor can actually communicate with Unreal Engine. So I'm going to hit Send to MetaTailor and then wait for the process to complete. If you see listening for MetaTailor, that means that the apps are communicating correctly. 
So let's go ahead and jump into MetaTailor and see what's happened. So if you get this pop-up asking you to name your project, that means the MetaHuman has been sent over successfully. So we'll just call them MetaHuman Tutorial 1. As you can see, our MetaHuman has been transferred successfully to MetaTailor with all of its textures and materials properly applied, which is really convenient because these MetaHumans have quite a bit of different materials and quite a few different textures as well. So having to manually hook all that up would be very tedious, but with MetaTailor Bridge, it does all of that automatically for you. So we're just gonna go ahead and name this MetaHuman. We'll call him again, we'll stick with MetaHuman Tutorial 1. You can leave all of these settings alone because it's all been set up properly for you. Hit next step. We don't need to do anything in this step because we don't need to add or remove any meshes applied. So you can also leave this alone. You can go ahead and inspect the landmarks, but MetaTailor should apply the landmarks perfectly to the MetaHuman. Sometimes the nose can be a little bit off. So just go ahead and manually move that to the position of the nose. That looks pretty good. So we'll hit next steps to finish the import. Awesome. So now we have a MetaHuman in the MetaTailor viewport, which means that any items that are in our content browser or any items that we have imported into MetaTailor will now fit this MetaHuman character seamlessly. So let's just go ahead and take a look at just, let's just throw some random items on. So I'll go to assemblies and I'll find, let's try, Rock Climber. Awesome. So, clothing just fit. Let's make sure it's rigged properly as well, which it should do automatically. Go ahead and apply an animation. Look at that. Let's try another outfit. That's really cool. So let's try one more outfit. Now I have an outfit that I like on my MetaHuman. One thing I wanna show you really quickly though is I actually imported a separate MetaHuman that is a completely different sort of body size. So I just wanna show you the versatility of MetaTailor and how it can self-adapt clothing to really fit any size and shape character you're working on. So let's just take a quick look at that. So here's a slightly larger scale MetaHuman, but as you can see, it applied the clothes and fitted them correctly. As you can see, MetaTailor has transferred this avatar to a completely different size and shaped avatar, which really shows you the versatility of this workflow. Any character you bring in, regardless of its gender, size, or shape, MetaTailor Meta can actually adapt the clothing to fit in real time, giving you a very vast and wide range of possibilities. So we're gonna transfer this back to our original MetaHuman, and then we're gonna send those clothes to Unreal Engine so that we can have it in engine for our, the project we're working on. So now that I'm done with my outfit, let's go ahead and navigate to the Export tab, and then scroll down to MetaTailor Bridge. MetaTailor Bridge contains all of the various apps and plugins that we have that allow you to seamlessly connect MetaTailor and then send over the outfits that you've configured. So, Go ahead and look at Unreal Engine 5. Make sure that it's enabled. We're gonna actually quickly go back to our Unreal Engine project, specifically our blueprint that we created for our MetaHuman. And we're gonna make sure listening for MT is activated in the bottom. If you don't see that, just go ahead and hit the button that says receive from MetaTailor, and then you'll see that pop up in the bottom jump back to MetaTailor, and then hit Send Outfit to Unreal. MetaTailor is gonna go ahead and encode all the textures and materials and skin weights and everything that we've done and send it directly to Unreal Engine 5. Let's open up Unreal Engine and take a look. 
And there you go. Meta Taylor has successfully sent over your outfit that has been fit and rigged to your MetaHuman avatar. Now you can use your MetaHuman in an animated video or an actual video game, apply animations, apply physics. You can do whatever you want with it. If you want to make changes, you can go back to Meta Taylor, make a tweak, send it over, and have a really seamless back and forth workflow that allows you to dress characters like you've never been able to do before. So I hope you like this tutorial and we're gonna have many more tutorials coming out soon showing you how to get the most out of the new Meta Taylor Bridge capability. Thank you very much.